This road leads into Warawa local government area of Kano State, some 35 kilometers from the state capital. The residents are mostly engaged in subsistence agriculture. With its vast arable land, Warawa has been contributing significantly to the state's food production. People of Warawa local government were farmers and cutting realists. We used to produce rice, beans, ginkgo, and some other uh, farm products and take it to sell at the state. This means we are contribute to the state revenue generation. And even the agricultural products after harvest, there is the problem of transporting this farm products to major markets and into the city because of lack of access roads as well as uh, the relevant uh, vehicles that can convey these uh, products to the market. However, healthcare is a major challenge in the community. It's only one primary health center is absolutely inadequate and only a few nurses cater for several patients who troop in daily. I've been here since morning, but I haven't been attended to because there are many people ahead of me and the nurses are few. We have heard of government's free medical treatments for pregnant women, but this is the second time I'll be coming here and no one has given me free treatment. I paid for my drugs. Despite Kano State's free education program, primary school pupils attend classes in dilapidated buildings. They also have to trek long distances to and from school. The presence of transformer, electricity poles and power lines notwithstanding, electricity supply is virtually non-existent in Warawa. You can see the, the Warawa local government is not even connected to national grid. There is no supply of uh, electricity in Warawa local government. Uh, everybody is using those that can afford uh, have this, uh, I, pass you, I pass my name, uh, generator. The people say they depend on water from the Dill Water Treatment Pond, but the supply is at most twice a month. They have to trek about one and a half kilometers daily to access potable water. There is also clear and present danger of this access road being flooded by heavy rainfall and cutting the people off from the state capital where they sell their farm produce. They are in need of irrigation facilities, more schools and other infrastructure. The need for the people is development in all spheres. Space of life, education, health, we are back with education, health, agri even the agriculture that basically we are not the government is not one of the is it's one of its potential is agriculture. This road that was earmarked for rehabilitation some three years ago has long been abandoned. It was given to a contractor by the state government and the contractor didn't do work till the quality from the other contractor and given to another contractor. The contractor has been sold, so later she, oh, I don't know what is actually. As far as basic amenities and welfare are concerned, while our community appears to have been badly shortchanged and in desperate need of government's urgent attention, considering that it's a mere stone throw from the state capital.